Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, Marky B. We're on the Skag 32 B ride. What's going on guys? Well, here we are, another point of view on the stand on 32. Like I mentioned, this is, this is my Skag B ride, 32 inch stand on, brand new mower. First commercial mower actually. And I'm right now, right off the bat, I'm gonna say it's probably one of my best uh, investments I have made. I mean, this thing just, it, it cuts like a dream. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And we're gonna, this is probably my, what, third, if I don't remember when I shot this video, it's probably like my second or third week having it so I'm still I'm still a big noob on this at this point but actually now I've gotten the hang of it and I love it and uh, I could actually pop wheelies on it now which is cool which is fun uh, this particular particular yard it's not it's not one of my uh, best yards as far as uh, looks mostly uh, weeds I think I don't know what I guess the front yard supposed to be Bermuda if I don't if I recall but it this is a bi-weekly or every other week uh, property but you know it still has to be mowed no matter what We've, uh, at, around this time, we were having, like, rain fall, like, every single day here in the Dallas area, so the ground was definitely, uh, saturated. Well, it wasn't, it, it was a little soggy, but it wasn't saturated, I guess. I don't know. It was okay. It was okay for me to put the mower, the rider mower on here, and I did. There were some spots that I did rut, and I think it was mostly in the backyard, and we'll get to that part later but as you can see you can see uh, people kind of going in and out of this home these two gentlemen that are here are they look like they're contractors or uh, they're remodeling the home these these are not my customers so they're kind of going back and forth in and out I don't know if they're repainting or uh, they're doing some some type of construction was going on inside this home so like I mentioned, this is my bi-weekly. So as you can see, the grass does grow, especially with the rain that we were getting. I mean, it was just, it was just going, growing so fast that at uh, here I was gonna, you know, I, I cut shorter than usual. Usually, uh, usually I won't cut, cut it this short unless I know we're gonna get rainfall and especially if it's a bi-weekly. Uh, mowing property. I try to cut it short, especially if it's and, and if it's if it's not a if it's a yard like this that's just weeds. I mean, customers don't mind if you cut it all the way down. So as you can see, that I'm not making a straight line. Right. Let me see if I can show y'all. But I'm kind of going around. There's a little area there that's um, there's a stump. They try to grind it but it, didn't, it wasn't grinded all the way down, so I'm kind of avoiding that area. Y'all guys can see it. We're gonna go straight to it, then you're gonna see me kind of make a left. But there is still roots exposed, and there's still a stump right there in the middle that's kind of covered with, uh, with dirt. So I definitely didn't want to get my mower over that, and break a blade or spindle or something so hopefully you guys are having a banging uh, season this year 2021 I know last year was a crazy year but you know what we all made it through it y'all guys let me know if y'all like these type of videos too if y'all like these point of view videos do y'all like the commentary uh, 
uh, videos like what I'm doing now, the point of view, or no commentary, no point of view. Y'all want, y'all like the shots where I'm, uh, where actually, where you could actually see me mo. Y'all guys, let me know in the comments, and uh, that way I could start doing videos that you guys want want to see. Uh, y'all guys want to see some vlogging style videos as well. I'm here to serve you guys with uh, entertainment info. There's my trailer without the stickers. So I've been thinking, uh, me and my wife have actually been talking about rebranding my business, kind of re just kind of changing up my business a little bit, re uh, changing the name, changing the brand. So uh, I don't know, what do you guys think, or should we stick to Eclipse? I kind of agree with my wife though, kind of just rebranding, revamping everything. Um, you know, a new website, actually get a website that's, uh, like actually get a professional to build my website. But we really want to invest more into the business because like they say, you know, it takes money to make money. And actually this, this past weekend, me and my wife, we went to a seminar that was put on by Brian from Brian's Lawn Maintenance. And he had a couple of keynote speakers there. Uh, Sean and TQ from Spencer's Lawn Care were there. They spoke. Who else spoke? Uh, Brian, of course, spoke. And then, of course, they had other uh, other speakers there. And everybody did everybody did great. And this was in Waco, Texas. Uh, you guys, I don't know if y'all guys follow me on Instagram, but I did put uh, a couple of pictures, and I thought it was. It was, it was neat. It was cool. It was insp uh, inspiring. And of course, my wife. Now, my wife wants to actually come out on the field with me and work. <laughs> Which I told her, hey, you can do it. So I'll probably start teaching her like on Fridays or actually on Saturdays when cause she does have a full time job. And, uh, session was to come out and, and start working so we'll put her I think we'll she says she wants to weed eat she wants to do the trimmer but we'll see we'll see I think that'll be fun uh, but I think she could hang I really believe she, she could hang like right now, she has she has a uh, she works in the corporate office at at a behavioral therapist or therapy clinic. So uh, she's always had those type of jobs. So we'll see. I think it'll be fun to see how she does. So we'll probably uh, start. I'll teach her how to you know use a weed eater, and then we'll get her on the machine on the uh, mowers but we're gonna we're gonna do it on uh, my yard on our, our yard and then probably my sister-in-law's in the yard be some good practice this, this week but we just want to take uh, we want to take the business to the next level guys you know financially uh, equipment wise employee wise like we want to really grow she was really inspired by the stories that a lot of the landscapers and hardscapers you know the testimonies that they gave and then of course you know this uh the spencers their testimony and their and then of course brian brian was amazing so what it was and i'll let me see let me pull it up okay so uh the event was called Together in the Trades events, or Together in the Trades, a summit for couples in business. So it's pretty much, uh, it was designed to help strengthen marriage, um, you know, spouses that are in the 
lawn care business, landscape business, pretty much whatever business, but it was focused around lawn care. Um, so it was awesome. There's a there was marriage counselors kind of talking about marriage and stuff. You know what? And uh, I'm not I'm not gonna really talk about it. If y'all guys want to check it out, I think if I'm not mistaken, they were saying the next one was gonna be in Nashville. Um, so if y'all guys want to, uh, you know, I, I think it's 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 helpful, not just for your business, but also for your marriage. You know. Then of course Brian, man, he was. Uh, the main keynote speaker and he's he got some knowledge man some knowledge bombs so it's pretty cool I think who else did I see um, like I mentioned the Spencer were there Paul Paul Jameson right the podcast guy that guy was there I think Naylor was there he didn't speak though I mean it was there was a there's a lot of people there at the event but it was fun and um man i definitely encourage you guys especially if you're, whether your spouse works with you or not you know i think we all can uh can work on our marriage everybody it doesn't matter if you have a bad marriage or you're you have a sucky marriage at this moment go to it it just helps build you know what i'm saying so that was pretty fun guys definitely enjoyed it so shout out to uh brian uh brian's lawn maintenance for putting that together so there's really no rhyme or reason what i'm you know as far as patterns guys i'm just kind of mowing all over the place if that's what it looks like pretty much that's what i'm doing guys um the ground was still mushy soggy and right here right in front of me right to the left of me you can't tell but there's actually like a uh a drainage I guess they not a drain or a ditch you can't tell like it's weird because I'm looking at it right now it doesn't even look like there's a ditch but there's actually a ditch so I had to be very careful that I didn't I didn't uh, get stuck there and of course in the corner to the uh, upper left it's very soggy and then up here at this corner it's always soggy there too I don't know why I think they just got really bad plumbing maybe have leaks and then they just put that that patio there right in the middle and that patio didn't used to be there actually but then uh, I mean it just makes makes it worse because now I gotta blow all that patio off see I'm not too sure what I'm doing here okay oh, okay we're done we're done so we're gonna try to squeeze through this gate man this this mower barely gets through here barely like you see me almost pushing that gate with the mower but we got it we didn't break anything guys we didn't break anything guys and on my other video I know a lot of you guys my previous video that I just put out Everybody was wondering why I was cutting it so short. Why I was cutting that other lawn so short. Here's the thing, guys. Um, customer wanted it short. And uh, so I cut it short, you know. It looked like I, like I scalped it, but it wasn't really scalped. It really wasn't scalped. Which was, uh, now looking back on the video, it did look like it was scalped, but it wasn't scalped. The grass was just super stupid high so all right guys well thank you for watching let me know if y'all guys enjoy these videos in the comments like subscribe share and hit that bell notification and we'll see you guys in the next video peace